hello welcome to the channel today i'm going to show you how i made this a goosey soup and there's so there are a lot of ways to make a goosey soup it's quite versatile this one is just an easy one with just one vegetable very easy to make not complicated at all without taking much of your time let's move on to the recipe so these are some of the ingredients i'm going to use i will use meat you can use any meat of your choice but i decided to use goat meat here uh, some pomo, some stockfish, some dried catfish, some black fungus, I love it, pepper, onions, you know what, a full list of the ingredients will be in the description, please check it out. Let's get cooking guys. We'll start off by cooking the meat, which are of course after you've washed and cleaned it up properly. So I seasoned the meat with some salt and a seasoning cube and some onion. I also put in the stockfish at this time. After it has cooked for about 5 minutes, I'm adding some water in it. I'm also putting my pomo, my dried catfish, to cook along with it so that it will just be ready at the same time. I added more water because you need, you need the stock to cook the goosey. I'm just going to prepare my vegetable. The vegetable I'll be using here is hot leaf, which they both call uziza. Just going to cut it up. You can cut it to any size you want. <laughs> okay. After the meat has cooked for a while, I'm putting in some pounded pepper, just a pe pepper mix. That's my pepper, my onion, my crayfish. I like pounding them together. So I'm putting in some of it. I'm also adding the black fungus to cook too. The meat will soon be ready. After it has cooked for about 4 minutes, the aroma here is to die for. <laughs> I'll be adding my goosey now. Now you can take out the meat and everything and just leave the stock before adding your goosey. But I don't mind so I'm just putting everything together. This is just a quick meal. You don't have to do that but if you feel there's not enough space and maybe your meat has cooked very well and you don't want to do overcook, you can take it out and put the goosey before putting your meat back when the goosey is ready. Yeah, we'll add some water so that we'll have enough water to cook our egusi. You have to stir this from time to time so it doesn't burn. Egusi is not something you just leave and go away for 20 minutes or 15 minutes. You need to stir this so that it doesn't burn. Can you notice some of the oil from the egusi floating up? <laughs> some people didn't really know that egusi has oil. It has its own oil. You can see a little bit of it floating here. So at this point, I'm going to add my remaining pepper mix. I'm going to also going to add some palm oil, it's about two cooking spoons of palm oil. You can see that the goosey has started cuddling and caking. It's on its way to being ready. I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes depending on how your heat sauce is. But you just want your goosey to be ready. And that's when you start seeing it cuddling and caking. You can see the different looks of the goosey in the different stages of this cooking process.
please give this video a thumbs up if you've not and don't forget to leave a like if you've not yet subscribed to the channel please 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 do so subscribe click on the notification bell select the all options so that whenever new videos are posted you'll be one of the first to get them thank you I'm adding a teaspoon of Cameroon pepper because I like it, I love the flavor and I like the heat it adds to the soup. Cover for about 3 more minutes. I'm adding my hot leaf, that's easy there. Hot leaf gives it a delicious flavor. I don't know, it just, I think hot leaf is my best vegetable to add to uh, a juicy soup. Make sure you correct seasoning, check salt and all that, to make sure everything is okay. I just cover for about a minute or two just for the user to cook a bit I don't want it to brown then I'm going to turn off the heat and now my goosey soup is ready you can have this with a bar you can have it with semo you can have it with fufu you can have it with any swallow of your choice sometimes I even have it with rice <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.